If you're flying a high performance fighter jet, and if you're at 70 to 90 degrees of bank, you're gonna need a lot more backstick pressure to hold it. Now, as a general rule of thumb, 60 degrees of bank equals two Gs to hold level flight. That's why in an airliner, when they turn it about an average of 30 degrees, which is a standard rate, that 30 degree turn, you're gonna feel like 1.4 G or something. You might feel a slight sinking into your seat, but it's very minor. But the gist of it is that there are four forces that act on an airplane. You have lift, acts upward. You have weight, is downward. Drag is backwards and thrust is forward. To maintain level flight, your lift needs to be equal to your weight. Anytime your lift is not equal to your weight, you're on a curved flight path, whether that's a descent or a turn. Now, when you roll up banking the airplane, your lift is still going out the top. That is your vertical component of your lift, but there is a horizontal component of your lift as well. And your full lift vector goes out the top of your airplane where your tail is pointed, right? So your lift vector is here, but you have two different components, the upward and the sideways. The more bank you have, the less of that upward lift component is acting on your airplane and the more of that horizontal lift component that you need to maintain level flight. So if you're at about 83 degrees of bank to 87 degrees, you're going to need like nine G's to hold level flight. And it also depends on your airspeed. Now, an airplane like the F-16 is going to fly at around 120 knots minimum speed, but you're going to need like 360 knots or something to hold level flight and nine G's at that. So those are how the base basic forces act on the airplane. Thanks for the question. If you have more like it, ask it in the comments, shoot me a DM and like and follow for more.